my channel so for today's video I am going to be doing my first ever cook with me video if you guys follow my Instagram you would probably know by now that I love cooking I've been getting really really into it the past year or maybe two years even you probably see on my Instagram stories especially now since we're quarantined that I cook almost every single night and I don't know why it's taken me this long to film a video of me cooking. I think I just wanted to like practice more and now I'm starting to feel really confident in my cooking. Sometimes I don't even need recipes and I come up with really good stuff. So I just wanted to share with you guys what we're gonna have for dinner tonight. It's really simple and easy. We're gonna have chicken parmesan with zucchini. For all of you moms out there, zucchini is one of my favorite vegetables to cook for Jaden. So I'll show you guys how I make it because every time I make it, he loves it. So I really feel like it's the way that I season it is the way that he likes it. I also wanted to throw it out there that I am not a professional cook, obviously. I'm just sharing with you guys what I'm making for dinner tonight, so please don't judge me. I would love to hear some feedback from you guys, and especially if you try out this recipe, make sure you let me know down in the comments below on how you like it. And also, if you are new to my channel, go ahead and click that subscribe button and join the fam. And without further ado, let's get cooking. So starting off, I have my chicken. This is thinly sliced and I have three of them. Then you will need Italian breadcrumbs. I have some olive oil and garlic sauce. Then you will need whole milk, two eggs. You have Parmesan cheese, mozzarella. I have my vegetable oil, but since that's running low, I'll have to use my olive oil. Then all purpose flour. Now for the zucchini, these ones are kind of small, um, but that's all I was able to find at the store. So my zucchini, and then I use salt, pepper, um, parsley flakes, this is for the Parmesan, and then garlic powder. I also put some lemon on these too, but I'll bring that out later. So starting off, you wanna season your chicken. So you're gonna use salt, pepper, and garlic powder. Um, I just kinda eyeball how much I use, but if you want exact measurements, I'll have it all listed down in the description box down below. And then I'll massage all that seasoning into the chicken. Then I'll flip the chicken over and I'll do the same thing on the other side. So now I'm gonna heat up my oil before I start preparing my chicken. You wanna make sure the oil's nice and hot. And I'd say use about two cups of vegetable oil, but since I didn't have all the vegetable oil that I needed, I had to use a little bit of olive oil, which that was my first time frying anything with olive oil, so it still turned out good. And then now you're gonna crack two eggs in a bowl and add one fourth cup of whole milk and mix that all together. So now taking my Italian breadcrumbs, I'm gonna do one cup of that and put it in a separate bowl. And now taking my all-purpose flour, I'm gonna do half a cup and then add that in a separate bowl. So now what you're gonna do is you're gonna take a chicken breast and you're gonna dip it in the flour first. You wanna make sure it's fully coated. And the reason why you do that is so that way all the seasonings that you put on your chicken don't just come off. If you went straight into dipping it in the eggs, it's just all gonna come off. And also the flour does help to make it a little bit more crispy. So you dip it in the flour first, you dip it in the egg, make sure everything is nicely coated. And then you put it in your Italian breadcrumbs. And you just wanna make sure everything's coated very nicely. That is how it's supposed to look when it's done. And then you just repeat these steps until all of your chicken breasts are covered. And then you could go ahead and start frying once your oil is heated. So once your oil is heated, you're gonna add your chicken breast and you're gonna cook it on each side for three to four minutes. The chicken may not be fully done when you take it out and put it on your pan, but it is gonna go in the oven anyways, so it's still gonna cook in there. Don't worry, three to four minutes is more than enough time. 
so once you're done cooking the chicken you're gonna put the chicken in a baking pan and here is where you're gonna add all of your sauce and cheese now for adding the sauce you want to make sure you're still able to see the chicken you don't want to dump all of the sauce on it because that is how chicken parmesan becomes really soggy and you don't want that you still want the chicken to be very crispy so you want to make sure you can see the chicken on the outside and then you're going to take mozzarella cheese and I add a lot girl I love mozzarella cheese so you can have a heavy hand with that so I put the cheese on and then you're going to take your parmesan cheese and top that off as well and then add some parsley flakes and then once you're done doing that you're gonna put it in the oven and you're gonna bake it for 15 minutes at 350 degrees. Now for the zucchini, I'm just gonna cut off the ends and then I'm gonna go ahead and slice it. So now I'm going to take a little bit of olive oil and I'm going to add that in my pan and just make sure everything's spread around evenly and then I'm going to add in my zucchini. Taking a fork and a wooden spoon, I'm going to try to separate the zucchini. I don't know if it makes sense, but they kind of stick together after you cut them. So make sure everything is a nice even layer. Then I'm going to add some salt, pepper, garlic powder, and a little bit of lemon juice. These are the seasonings I always use and Jaden always eats his zucchini. So if you have kids and they don't eat vegetables, I would try maybe this recipe and see if your kids would like it with lemon. I personally love zucchini with lemon. I feel like it gives it a very nice flavor. So I usually will cook this for about maybe five to seven minutes. I'll flip them and then I like to see them get a little bit brown and that's a sign to tell me that they're done cooking. It kind of just depends on the person though. Some people love really soft zucchini and some people like very crunchy. All right, everyone, so here is your chicken parmesan. And then we have our grilled zucchini. So I'm gonna try the parmesan first just to see how it tastes. It's just so good. Every time I make it, it's just really, really good. So I highly recommend you guys try this recipe. Now let's try the zucchini. Mm -hmm. Now if you're somebody that doesn't like lemon, you can skip on that stuff and just do salt and pepper. I think grilled zucchini in general is really good. But that concludes today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed this. If you try out this recipe, go ahead and comment down below and let me know how you liked it. Also, let me know if you guys wanna see more videos like this. And I love you guys so much and I'll see you next time. Bye.